Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. I have created a video for generating prime numbers between 1 and n but uh, one of my viewers is unable to understand the logic behind this program. So I am creating this video again just to explain him how this program works. So first of all let me execute this program to show you what it does. It tells you to enter a number let me say 25 and it will give you the, a list of the numbers starting from 2 till the maximum value 25 between that it will tell you all the prime numbers ok so like 2 3 5 7 and uh, so on are the prime numbers between 1 and 25 so how this program works as you can see we are taking the value and I'm storing that in the variable x which is a uh, integer type and we have two three more variables i j and n now we are going into a loop this loop this loop starts from 2 we are considering or we are dividing from number starting with 2 we are not considering 1 because uh, uh, 1 is not a prime number and then we are checking if this value is less than and equal to x suppose the user has uh, given x value as uh, 25 so first of all my i value for the first iteration will be 2 and uh, then we will go and try to execute this part of code for that my j value for the first iteration will be 1 and then I am checking if my j value is less than or equal to i my j is less than or equal to i yes the condition is true so I will go and uh, enter I uh, will perform this thing what I am doing over here is I am dividing i by j I am dividing my i value that is 2 with my j value that is 1 and if this gives me a value as 0 I am incrementing my n value which is 0 for initial uh, at the initial stage and uh, this is done for the first time and then when we repeat it we will increment the value of j now the value of j will become 2 and now we will again check it with the our with our i i value is 2 and j value is again 2 so the condition is uh, still true because we are checking if j value is less than and equal to i so again we will do the same stuff we will divide 2 with 2 and uh, if it gives us the reminder as 0 then we are again incrementing the n value and uh, if not we are coming out of it out of it what's the need of uh, using this n value because uh, if you remember the value of the uh, definition of a prime number from our school back to uh, back old math classes a prime number is a number which gets divided with one and itself okay any number which gets divided only by itself and one is known as a prime number okay so uh, what that's what we are doing we are dividing any number in this case we are dividing 2 with the numbers from 1 till that value till this value and we will keep on doing this uh, till we re till we reach 25 okay same thing we will be repeating with number 3 that means we are going to divide 3 with 1 2 and again 3 next time when this uh, we come to this for loop we are going to increment the i value and it becomes 4 and in this for loop we are going to divide 4 with 4 values that is 1 2 3 and now 4 now this will continue till we reach 25 so we are going to do that with 25 also we are going to divide 25 with 1 till 25 if between 1 to 25 suppose when we are checking with number 25 in the last iteration if this number gets divided two times so then we are printing uh, if we are checking if the n value is 2 which means if this number gets divided two times like we have done with 2 then we are printing that number else 
we are not doing anything we are assigning the n value again as 0 like we did for uh, 2 over here the 2 gets divided by with 1 and itself so the n value for 2 will be 2 and we are we are displaying it as a prime number again same thing will happen with 3 the 3 will get divided by 1 and itself only it will not get divided by 2 as only 2 comes between 1 and 3 so as um, it's getting divided only 2 times so we are checking it again over here and we are printing that next comes 4 now if we divide 4 for the first time it gets divided with um, the, uh, get it gives remainder as 0 with 1 the same it gives remainder as 0 with 2 it does not gives remainder as uh, 2 uh, 0 with 3 but it gives remainder as 0 with itself so 4 got divided with 3 numbers that is 4 2 and 1 so the n value over here will be 3 so for the 4 the n value will be 3 which is uh, not according to our condition when this condition fails we are not printing that number as a prime number because we know a number should get divided only by two times one with uh, for the first time it should get divided with one and the next time it should get divided by itself only hence the as the four number four fails in our this test we are not printing that as a prime number and we are again repeating the same procedure I hope now this program is uh, uh, clear to all of you and if you still have any problem uh, do comment on the video and let me know I'll try to explain it to you so that's it for this video hope you understood it and thanks for watching